Okay, so now it works. Uh, so, uh, first I will present myself. So, I'm Fabien Oder. I'm working for Collabora. Uh, so, I'm not a well-known developer at all. I just do some integration, uh, kernel development, you boot development too, but uh, I just, I'm just a user of Wellen. So here yeah, I just want to, to, to say to, to, to promote Wellen because I use it. I think it's really nice uh, also for uh, embedded uh, devices. So I will try to present it uh, briefly. So it's a non-exhaustive presentation and if you have questions I will be happy to answer and if I can't, as I'm not a developer, if it's about internals, I can uh, ask question to my colleague uh, that uh, works uh, on the Wayland. Uh, so first, what is Wayland? I don't know, I hope some of you uh, heard about it. So Wayland is a protocol uh, to, to communicate before, uh, be between a compositor and clients and uh, so the, the, the goal is to have a graphic interface uh, managed by uh, Wayland. And uh, so it's just a simple re replacement for X, X11. So, um, and so the current version is what, dot, uh, 14. Uh, so uh, the, um, it's, uh, you can find the, some documentation on the um, Wayland site. So, um, in order, uh, before going uh, further, uh, uh, I just want to, to say that uh, Wayland is not a compositor. It's really just a protocol to communicate between uh, clients, so any uh, graphic uh, um, application, and the compositor, uh, which will uh, deal with uh, hardware and uh, something. So, uh, why to use Wayland? So it's non-exhaustive, so I think uh, some people will find uh, more, more ideas, but uh, for me, uh, it's designed for modern devices, because some people that use uh, X11 uh, um, found that uh, it, it, the design was not uh, good for uh, modern devices, because uh, X was uh, developed for uh, distributed uh, uh, graphic interfaces before. So, that's why uh, no, it's not um, uh, the the best choice for uh, the, the 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 new devices. So the fact that we there is a rework, uh, then they do a new um, architecture, uh, make it more performant. So I will explain uh, uh, after in the, the next um, slide why uh, and uh, a very uh, simple examples that show why it is um, more performant than than X. Of course, yes, uh, I don't. Uh, um, so it's also a really, really simple, uh, simple to use and to configure. So it's a few lines and a few uh, environment variables to, to set to make it work on uh, the desktop or on embedded devices. So it's really nice because I, I have tried to, to work with uh, X uh, in the past and it's less easy. So. Uh, moreover, uh, yes, it, so it's more secure uh, because, uh, for example, uh, the, the clients are contained. So with uh, X, uh, some clients can uh, talk with different, uh, with other uh, X application. So this is not possible uh, with Wayland, so they are contained and uh, it's better for, um, for the security. For example, uh, it's uh, prevent from uh, keyloggers. Uh, between uh, two, uh, yeah, that it's possible between two X uh, applications. Um, so uh, another uh, reason to use it is uh, it is uh, su supported by uh, toolkits, so like uh, Qt, uh, GTK, uh, EFL, uh, many others. So I add the links uh, to if you are interested to see uh, uh, what uh, support uh, Welland. And uh, it seems to be the future for Linux distribution because a lot of distribution uh, use it or will use it soon as uh, the default uh, com um, compositor, uh, uh, the uh, feature of, uh, not really compositor because it's not a compositor, but you use uh, its own compositor based on Wayland. Um, so, in, in order to explain uh, why it can be uh, more performant than uh, X, 
so this is how uh, Wayland works. So Wayland, it's a Wayland compositor. We, you have a different client, and the client uh, talk to, to Wayland, and uh, Wayland do the compositing and uh, ask eventually to the um, to the hardware, send buffers to the hardware. But um, everything is done in the same uh, program. So, and compared to X, it's more complicated in the case of X because uh, X client talk to X server that talk to compositor or talk to um, drivers in the kernel. So uh, you take more time to discuss between the different application and the different layer uh, drivers. So that's why the, the, the main uh, idea why uh, Wayland is more performant than X. Um, so, um, so I say that um, Wayland is, a, is just a protocol to create your compositor. So Weston it is a part of the Wayland project and it's a, so it's a minimal and fast uh, Wayland compositor. So it's uh, what is running uh, now on uh, an embedded board so to do the presentation. So Weston, uh, yes, you, you just start a graphic interface and then you, you can start uh, what, what application you want if it supports uh, uh, Wayland, of course. Um, so it's uh, the reference implementation. Uh, you can uh, extend it uh, by using uh, libweston. So if you want uh, something better than Weston but don't want to create your own compositor, you just have to use the libweston and you will be able to, to have a, a, a customized uh, compositor for, for your needs without developing a compositor um, by yourself. So the current release is uh, 3.00. And uh, so I also uh, add two uh, other uh, embedded compositors. Uh, so Asteroid OS, is an OS uh, that uses a custom uh, compositor uh, for Qt. Uh, so the, this OS uh, so use Wayland uh, natively, and uh, on, um, it's uh, the, uh, designed for watches. So if you are inter interested, uh, it's a nice project. And there is also a new alternative, the new um, it's new alternative to X11 on. Uh, uh, on Raspberry Pi, so it's Menon. It's, it's uh, a new um, desktop environment uh, for the Raspberry Pi using a Wayland and TV. So uh, now uh, people can say uh, yes, but my main application uh, is developed and use X, so I have to redevelop everything from scratch. So it's not necessary. So there is a, um, a support in uh, X in order to so in the X server in, or, in order to to be used uh, as a layer uh, over Wayland. So uh, every X client can uh, can be uh, can uh, discuss with um, the um, with the Wayland compositor uh, using uh, the X server. So X server is just an, uh, a Wayland client. And uh, so, in the advantage of using this, uh, before just using X, is, the, is that uh, the um, you will uh, X will be more performant because you, if you remember the first picture, uh, X have to do the composition uh, and ask the hardware to to something and. Uh, each time there is a lot of uh, communication, and here, Wayland manage uh, the, the hardware. So uh, X just uh, do the uh, just render the its uh, X, uh, X application, and then give the, the, all the buffers to uh, um, to Wayland, and then uh, Wayland uh, manage everything. So uh, as if you still use, you're still using uh, X. It's a good uh, thing to to think about Wayland just uh, for performance and uh, performance issues. Um, so, still uh, documentation. Uh, I invite you to to, to browse the site. It's uh, sm small but uh, very uh, uh, good. Uh, so uh, I don't. Yes. So that's all. Uh, I just. 
we'll try to do some uh, some demo. To so uh, this is uh, so I I, I ran the the, um, the slides on the in IMX solo uh, board. So I just build uh, Wayland, Weston, and uh, GTK to have uh, events. So just to show that uh, Wayland works fine, depending uh, on what you do, of course. Uh, if you have some trouble, you can use uh, Wayland uh, and have uh, X Wayland. So I don't have X Wayland on this demonstration, but uh, you can have it. Uh, for example, I work for a, a customer that use it uh, to just to to not um, redevelop the world application uh, and start uh, the migration. Uh, so there is some. Uh, OpenGL support, so just to show, I will, you have some um, tools to to test Wayland. So, oh, so it's a French keyboard, so uh, simple. So just to show that you can do open, you have accelerated uh, graphics with Western. So it's it's a small example, I know, but. Uh, Yes, I try to make it work with GTK, but uh, there is a bug for now, so I have to, to fix it. Uh, and I hope it will be um, okay uh, in a few few weeks. But uh, yes, that's, uh, so you, you can test uh, uh, Welland and Weston uh, easily if you, if you want. So that's uh, the demonstration. I don't know, I, so I can also to show that uh, some uh, so so if you want you, you can uh, run a lot of uh, I don't remember oh, it's I think it's this one oh no I don't remember which one it is oh, so okay so just to to show that uh, you can do some uh, oh it's not uh, really <laughs> quick, <laughs> don't know why, but uh, yes, just to, to show that you can use a, a toolkit that has a GTK or Qt uh, with, um, with uh, this, uh, with Wayland, uh, no, it works fine. So there is still some bugs, but uh, yes, it works uh, fine. And uh, of course, uh, if you use the X, uh, all the bugs related to uh, the migration of the toolkit to Wayland, uh, disappear. Um, so if you have questions or not, that's fine. Yes? <laughs> I just wanted to add a testimony. We recently had a customer who asked us for a very specific uh, graphical interface with multiple processes, opening multiple windows and very strict rules about what processes and what window should be where. And we re-implemented a Wayland compositor using a Qt compositor and it worked wonders. Really well, so it's pretty easy. Well, it's Qt development, so you have to know how Qt works and you have to learn how to make Qt compositor works. But overall, it was not a problem, it just worked. Thanks, Jeremy. Okay, thanks.